The chief executive of Manchester Airport has apologised this afternoon as all flights from two terminals have been cancelled. Footage shows people waiting in long queues in dark terminals after a power outage affected terminals one and two. Inbound flights were diverted to other locations and there's been chaos at the baggage carousels as passengers try to find their belongings. Bags everywhere, there's absolutely thousands, uh, you can't get a seat it's, and we're now getting asked to leave um, the airport now. You know, surely they have a duty of care for us but we're now stranded. We've been advised this morning not to travel to Manchester Airport but we thought we'd chance it as our flight's not until half past six for tea time. You know, fingers crossed, you've got to make the you know, best of a bad situation. It's not the airline's fault, it's not the Manchester Airport's fault. It's no one's fault, it's just one of them freaky things that happen in everyday life. Well, our North of England correspondent Charlotte Leeming is there for us and joins me now live. And, and Charlotte, an apology now um, from Chris uh, Woodruff, the airport managing director. Um, uh, and clearly a lot of chaos. And this is just the beginning of the holiday season for so many people. Exactly right. I mean, such disappointment and frustration and upset at Terminal 1 where we've been this morning. I think the words chaos, confusion and queues sums up this disruption. I mean, there's a, a flight, a plane taxiing behind me, but usually where we are now is somewhere where the plane spotters come, the families come on a sunny afternoon to see the aeroplanes. Well, in the last couple of hours, we've seen about two and it just sums up that disruption we've had here today from that power cut this morning causing absolute chaos, people going into the terminal thinking they were going on holiday, big groups of them going to Turkey, we speak as well to people going to Cos, young children with them as well, and then they get in there and they are told you are not going anywhere. So a quick scramble to, to ring their airlines. Some people have been on the airlines on the phone, on hold. You can hear it going now for about an hour at a time. Trying to get some information. We'll just let that flight set off now, but we have not seen any so far this morning, just a couple. And then we've just had on X, on social media, that apology from the chief executive of the airport. I think we can hear from him now. I stepped away from my instant response team to bring this message. It's, first of all, an apology. My sincere apologies, personal apologies to every single passenger who's been impacted by what's gone on at Manchester Airport today. There was a big power spike in our electrical system due to a failure early on this morning and that's damaged some really key equipment for our departure security and our departures baggage systems. And so that's meant that Terminal 1 and Terminal 2 haven't been able to depart aircraft today. And as a result, we haven't had those aircraft be able to land either as arrivals because there's no space to park those aircraft on the airfield. We're working very close with our airlines to seek to recover the operation, understand what passengers can um, be rebooked onto future flights. I'd just like to thank our airline partners for all of their efforts, thank my team and the grant handlers on site for all of their efforts, trying to um, do as good a job under very difficult circumstances for our um, passengers in the context of well-being, welfare, communications. It's a very difficult situation. I couldn't be more sorry and um, the good news is that we very much expect this to be recovered over the afternoon and evening, so as um, we're back to normal operations tomorrow. Well, apologies there, but honestly, the people at the terminal, they're just so frustrated, you know, they want to get on holiday, don't they? And some people are paying thousands of pounds to book other flights from, say, Leeds Bradford Airport, which is about an hour away, so that they can get on their holidays. But one family I spoke to, they've already missed two days of a holiday by the time they're going to get there. They've saved up all year to go on holiday as a group, and it's so frustrating. This is the third busiest uh, airport in the UK. Just to give you some scale of the problem, it deals with around 70,000 passengers each day, so you can just imagine this disruption this is causing. Cold comfort, I know, for the travellers hoping to get away today, but the airport is hoping that things will be back to normal tomorrow. We shall wait and see. Hey, Charlotte, thank you.